Okay, so we have the displacement of a structure uh, defined by the following equation for damped oscillation. y equals 9 e to the minus kt uh, cosine omega t, where k equals 0 0.7, omega equals 4. Uh, Alright, uh, so uh, it doesn't give us any more information than this, but it says use the graphical method to make an initial estimate of the time required for the displacement to decrease uh, to 3.5. Well, I'm going to assume I'm going to assume that y is displacement, right? And so, um, all right. So let's let's use the graphical method and let's approximate this. So, um, uh, switching back over to MATLAB now. Uh, we'll just create a new function f uh, edit f dot m. Oh no, wait. Let's let's switch into the directory problem eight point one nine. Yeah. Okay. Edit f dot m. So we create a new function for this, just like just like we like to do, and then we're gonna say. Um, function y equals f of x, right? And then uh, we just need to code in uh, the function. So it was uh, y equals 9 times e minus k times t um, times the cosine of uh, omega T and we have uh, uh, let's see k equals 0 0.7 and, uh, and omega equals 4 and this is rather than f of x it'll be f of t because you see here the function the variable we have here is t. All right, so there's our our uh, our function, and now we're supposed to graph this out, and um, and we're gonna hope that y uh, decreases to 3.5. Uh, okay. Well, actually, let's see. If we want, if we want y equals uh, 3.5, then maybe we're going to have to reorganize this. We're going to have to say uh, uh, for y, we'll have to replace y with 3.5, and so then uh, we're going to have to come down here and say uh, uh, zero equals. Um, 9e to the minus kt cosine omega t uh, minus 3.5 and that's what we're gonna call f of t alright yeah let's do that and so then we'll have just what we had in there except let's do this subtract 3.5 the end minus 3.5 okay so let's try this so t equals um, we're usually gonna just do positive time so I'm gonna go 0 um, 0 0.01 and let's go to boy I don't know um, let's just go to 10 and see what that gets us um, and so we're gonna plot t f of t. Before we do that, let's just make sure there's no, there's nothing. And let's see how that comes out. Uh, matri inner matrix dimensions must degree. All right, so what we have to do here is put a, a dot time, so that's easy. Come in here, that's what that means, is uh, if we're doing um, so that one's fine. 
it'll be dot times here. That means element by element multiplication. And so if we have two vectors, uh, you can imagine this, all this multiplied together being like T1, and then the cosine of all this being like T2, uh, then, then we have to be able to multiply those together and we can't really multiply two vectors that are the same size. It's matrix multiplication is not defined, which is what MATLAB does by default. So we have to put in this dot operator so that it does element wise multiplication. So let's try it. All right. And that's the behavior that we get. Um, and and we wanted to know until it settled down to 3.2 five and, and and that was I, I mean we had that is when it settles down to three point five when this is equal to zero. So let's let's put hold on plot um t zero times t and let's do that in red. Okay. So that's the point that we're interested in. And we're just gonna graphically say that that is about uh, 0 0.27 okay so graphically we're gonna say that is about so graphical method so we're gonna say that's about 0 0.27 yep alright and, and the other thing we can do just just out of curiosity is rather than plugging in uh, 3.5 here. Uh, we could just, we could have just uh, plotted this out regularly, and so let's do that. Plotted this out normally. All right, we'll clear the figure and plot it out. No, this one, uh, and then, uh, yeah, hot. T zero times T R. All right. Oops. We're gonna do hold on, hold on, and instead of zero times T, let's have um. Uh, we're gonna do a, a line at three point five ones size of T. And we're going to multiply that by 3.5. Okay, and so this is actually what's happening to the displacement. It's oscillating about zero, uh, as we see here. And the question was, when does it get below 3.5? And this line is 3.5. And so then we were estimating that to be about. Zero point two seven. Okay. Uh, all right. Next part.